What's going on guys? Here today at the Hershey RV Show, checking out the new Grand Design Momentum 410TH. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so you have the ladder that goes to the roof, full walkable roof, pull out ladder. I've got a nice solid metal door here, covering up the fuel pump. Here's your pump buttons in there uh, to turn it on and off. You have one tank for the fuel pump, one tank for the generator. You also have a nice space over here for an air compressor hookup or uh, just tool storage with your drain pipe for your rear bathroom with the pull handle there and right above it you have your black tank flush you've got nice cooper h-rated tires on 17 and a half inch wheels come standard with 7,000 pound axles 8,000 pound axles are uh, optional and they come with disc brakes this comes standard with the Cree 3000 suspension rack and pinion slides now this frame is a 12 inch i-beam frame sitting on a 10 inch drop frame you have your water heater access panel got frameless windows this whole side is just windows it's beautiful you have your Nautilus water hookup system wonderful system I've had it in my past two campers now down here you have your uh, drain pipe for your front tanks now my one gripe with this is if you look where it is you're not getting to it with the slide open unless you're crawling underneath so you really need to get your hookups done before you put the slides out all right so this is a prototype model so there's going to be some things that change on the production model but these uh extra supports will not be there they found a way to uh make it strong enough and, and reinforce the um, floor to to be able to get rid of that so this will be all open it is just massive guys auto leveling system slam latches on everything except for the fuel tank uh, door and the propane here you have 30 gallon propane tank, one on each side. You have a regulator where you can flip it back and forth. Hydraulic leveling. Moving around up front. Got your common zone in generator. Your battery hookup with your hydraulic leveling system. If you look at this sticker here, this will show you the 7,000 pound axles, the 20,000 gross vehicle weight rating. Now, if you get the 8,000 pound axles, it will bump it to 21,000. Unloaded, this camper is 17,262 pounds. More ride pin box. second propane tank pass through storage your battery disconnects 
central back. And your, there's a Rockford Vosgate uh, upgraded audio system on this. Comes with a subwoofer. Uh, great sounding sound system. TV outside. Rockford Fosgate speakers on both sides. There's the show price. You guys, I wanted to show you this paint scheme. This is the 10th year Patriot anniversary full body paint. This is on a different model, but man, is it beautiful. Let me go show you the front. Just the red, white, and blue, just fantastic. Beautiful. Move inside. Here's the lower Happy Jack uh, sofa with the Happy Jack bed above. These flip up into two sofas, and there's a table that goes in the middle. You have your three season patio doors that the ramp door falls down into a patio. You have your rear bathroom. Half bath. Twenty five hundred pound tie downs on the floor in several different spots. Diamond plating. You've got storage up high with a TV. You've got a camera hookup which is unique to be able to watch your toys as you're going down the road. Alright, so as you walk in, you see they put an L shaped sofa in the corner and a dinette. This can also be configured with a super sofa. All right, the TV sits flush into the countertop when you're not using it. So you still have all, all the counter space. Yeah. Check out the pantry. Pantry's pretty nice. Got a light on the side, shines in there. Tons of cabinet storage. Audio system. More storage space up top. Love the color scheme in this. Dual sinks. Stepping up into the bathroom. Huge shower. Very nice shower and shower head. Nice sink area. You have your on demand hot water heater. Very nice to have. Great storage. You have your toilet here separate. With its own exhaust fan. This is a pretty big area. It's bigger than it seems. All right, you have your cabinet. Goes pretty deep. Towels, washcloths, towel hanger. You've got a dresser with a lift top. Great use of space and storage. I really like what they did here with the drawers flush mounted in the wall. Just a great use of space. Massive area in between the bed and the dresser. Makes it feel a whole lot bigger. Wardrobe. You have your hookup in here for 
washer and dryer. Or you can use it as shelves. And the other side, I really like the his and hers closet. Storage up under the bed. Take your legs for your table. I'm a big fan. Little nightstands on the side. You have USB plugs and uh, power outlets on both sides. Now the one thing I really wish Grand Design would do would give you would be to give you the option to take this loft and face it in the garage. Because one thing I really don't care for is having a ladder right in this doorway next to the refrigerator. The other thing I don't really care for with this chase is that you have to move it to get the slide in. But if it was my camper I'd probably get the super sofa now one thing I do want to show you is the vantage point over here right next to this wall you have no problem at all seeing the TV so if there was any doubt there you go if you guys like this content please like and subscribe